Welcome back to Add Art. Today's drawing was suggested by my sister Sam. She asked if I could draw a sleepy sloth. Now, before we start, just a quick reminder to subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be the first to know when I've uploaded a new drawing. OK, no time to hang around, let's make a start. First we'll start with the sloth's arm gripping onto a branch. It's shaggy fur sticking out to the side, drooping down. So this is coming towards its shoulder. I'll put the branch in later. Okay, let's put its head in. The heads are like side on oval. And because of gravity, we'll have some of the fur sort of drooping down here. They have these lighter sections to their face. And these patches that stretch in towards the middle. One on the other side. Okay, let's put the eyes in. We'll have them half open. They can sleep up to 20 hours, so he's looking quite dozy, this sloth. Little nose. And they have this kind of fixed smile on their face as well. Okay, let's have the body curving round here, hanging underneath a branch like a hammock. And again, we'll have the fur kind of drooping down here. towards the head, finish the shoulder, now let's start putting the branch that it's hanging on to, going off to the side here, we'll put in the claws on this back foot, and these claws can grow up to 7.5 centimetres in length, quite long which makes it quite difficult for them to walk on land. Okay, we'll bring that up. And you can get two or three toad sloths. And you can tell the difference because of the amount of claws on the front paw. And this one's a three toed sloth, as you can count there. finish this back leg and they utterly unique because they spend much of their time hanging upside down like this let's put in some background detail some more trees for them to climb on and they also have this extra bone in their neck which allows them to turn their head a lot further than we can and that allows them to look out for predators when they're hanging down like this. And they might look like monkeys, but they're actually more closely related to anteaters than armadillos. And they're native to South and Central America. Just going to put a few of these leaves in. This is what they mainly eat, um, but they sometimes eat insects and birds' eggs. But mostly they like leaves, and because of their diet, that makes them very slow creatures.
And remarkably as well, they also grow this green algae on their fur, which sounds horrible, but it actually helps to camouflage them in these forests. in here. Let's put some detail on its shaggy fur here. And there we have it, there's our sleepy sloth for my sister Sam. Now, before I go, do remember to check out my other videos and to subscribe. And if you've enjoyed drawing this, please do give me a thumbs up like as it really helps my channel grow and for other people to see add art. And finally, if you know someone who loves to draw, then please do share add art with them. But that's it for today, and I'll see you next time on Add Art. Bye for now.